Regular service and maintenance of the belt-driven blower is more critical than the direct drive blower for several reasons. First, the belt adds an extra maintenance item between the motor and blower wheel. The added pulleys also require periodic checking. On some motors, the pulley is adjustable, allowing for blower speed change. Before opening the unit access panel, turn off the main power. Use extra caution when servicing equipment that has sharp rotating blades. Open pulley wheels and a fast-moving belt can suddenly pull hands, tools, or clothing into them. Anytime the unit is opened or the filter is changed, the belt should be checked for wear and proper tension. Apply finger pressure to the belt in the center of the span. The belt should flex or deflect 1 64th of an inch for every inch of span length. Or Inspect the motor for cracks in the casing and end covers. Check for clogged ventilation ports and obstructions. Clean and vacuum the ports if necessary. Next, check the motor bearings for wear. Centrifugal blowers, also used in leaf blowers and hair dryers, allow air to be delivered at a high pressure. Turn the blower wheel manually to inspect the bearings for wear. The wheel should turn easily and quietly with no rubbing with the blower wheel housing. The squirrel cage should be centered in the housing. The motor and blower pulleys must be perfectly aligned to each other. To make a quick alignment check, place a straight edge in the pulley grooves and sight down the edge. Lining up against the outside edge of the pulley does not account for differing pulley widths. Always replace the belt with the same belt part number or the same belt size. If you suspect the belt is incorrectly sized, the part supplier can cross-reference the unit model number with the recommended belt. Belt length is typically the outer circumference of the belt and is determined by adding half the radius of each pulley and twice the distance between the center of each shaft.